That's how my teeth are sitting. That's how the space looks on each side. So let's see what they do today. Bye. Hello everyone. I'm back and I'm all super tan. <laughs> I'm starting to peel a little bit from where I got sunburn on my my arm here. But um, I'm back nevertheless. Uh, you can tell I was wearing sunglasses <laughs> throughout our trip. But anyway, so I am here to give you guys an update, um, a braces update, because I realized that I put off making this video for so long that today is actually the day. Um, so <laughs> I have been putting off this update because I really don't know how I feel about <laughs> what I'm telling you or what I'm about to tell you, which is um, at my, <laughs> I'm saying I'm a lot, <laughs> I'm like really nervous. <laughs> at my last orthodontist visit, my orthodontist told me that I could get my braces off today. <laughs> and I was just like, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, my heart is beating fast because I don't know how I feel about it. I am, I guess, excited, excited-ish. <sighs> but I also feel unprepared. I feel like I'm not ready to get my braces off just yet. And that is because... Like I still have, okay, so I'm going to do a quick comparison side by side. So on this side, you see how my teeth fit versus this side? They're fitting a little better on this side than I would say. As far as um, space is concerned, right? That's what I'm referring to, like um, the kind of like the black hole looking space that you can see in between where my teeth come down, where they fit with each other. I feel like I see more of that on my right side, on this side than I do on this side. So, so what he said was, he doesn't think that, you know, these teeth are gonna move back any further, which I agree. I mean, I haven't been in headgear forever. And there's like, no space, all that space is closed. But one thing I did notice, and I pointed it out to you guys, and um, probably at the beginning of this video, since I'm probably gonna splice these two together now that I think about it, my before my orthodontist appointment and after my orthodontist appointment, even though a significant amount of time has passed from the making of that video to the making of this one. I mean, I've, I've done been all near the equator, getting my sunburn and everything. So <laughs> obviously some time has passed. But I would say that, you know, oh, that's what I was talking about. My teeth, my two front teeth, I felt like they, one was lower than the other. And so I said something to him about that. And of course, it always happens. <laughs> There's always an overcorrection. Like, so he bent the wire and he bent it so much that now the other tooth is lower. And I'm just like, oh my God, why do we have to keep doing this? Like, why can't you just tweak it just a little bit and we'll see how that works. And then if that wasn't enough, then we can tweak it some more. But no, he like really went in there and just, Meh. And it hurt, of course, and time has passed. And as you can see, this tooth is now slightly lower than this tooth, which it was the reverse. <laughs> it was the reverse at the beginning of this video, remember? <laughs> of course you remember, because that was only like five minutes ago for you. But, you know, it's been some weeks for me. So I don't feel ready to get my braces off for that reason and for the other reason, but I don't think anything is going to change regarding the space, you know, that black hole space that I'm talking about. Let me show you again. What am I referring to? What's that? Breakfast? <laughs> see how you can't really see off in there, but then on this side, you can particularly around this tooth, huh? around this tooth right here. Okay, 
So I don't disagree with people who say my teeth look really good. I agree, my teeth look great, especially compared to how they looked before I got braces. But you know, I was hoping that my teeth were gonna fit a little bit better. I didn't say anything, I was just like, oh, okay, wow, me? I'm getting my braces off, it's been three years. Like <laughs> These things and I, we're very well accustomed with each other now. But he did mention that he doesn't think that this is going to um, change. And so he said that he might put some, I forget how he even phrased it now, he might put some, some filler material, that's what he said. He might put some filler material in there um, to kind of, you know, make it look more closed. And I was like, okay. Like, I said nothing, of course, until I saw my husband. I was like, filler material, what are we doing? And so, you know, Craig, he was like, oh, yeah, that's what I have on my tooth. And, you know, he's had it for like 20 years. He's had that on his tooth. And so, obviously, it's something that is like a permanent solution. But... I just, I guess I wasn't thinking that we were gonna be adding anything to my teeth. Cause that's pretty much what I'm getting is the gist of it, that you're gonna be adding, you'll be adding like some material to my teeth in order to fill in this little slice right here. Slice, slice. So I'm thinking what, changing the shape of my tooth by adding this filler material? I don't know. I don't know what that looks like. And also I want my front two teeth to be even. And so I was saying to Craig like, you know, the overcorrection and now this one's lower than that one. And he was like, well, he might just give you the Hollywood treatment again. I'm like, don't, please don't do that. <laughs> and by that he means, you know, shave my teeth down. So basically just shave this tooth down a little bit in order to, you know, make it the same height as this one. And I'm like, oh, can we just bend the wire back the other way and then like take my braces off tomorrow because it literally only took a day. <laughs> it took a day for the space to to go, um, it was this way actually, to go like this. So, and then, so of course, through time, now it's like this. <sighs> just like I don't know I don't know what to do I don't know whether to be like hey I'm not ready or or what because he was like well you know we'll see it's not 100% guarantee that you're gonna get them off today like I said this this uh this has been a couple of weeks so he said it's not 100% guarantee that you'll get them off on your next appointment but you know that's the goal that we're shooting for and so I'm actually supposed to go in early today because normally my appointments you know they're in the in the afternoon and but this time i'm going like early afternoon which is fine you know my schedule is accommodating that today because hey i might get my braces off today so obviously i'm going to clear my schedule <laughs> but i i think i feel nervous i have some anxiety i feel anxious about it because my teeth aren't exactly where I want them to be. Yes, I want my braces off, but I also am like, well, I mean, we've been doing it for three years now, so <laughs> let's not throw in the towel prematurely now. <laughs> so I don't know what's gonna happen today. I don't know if he's just gonna shave this tooth down a little bit to make it even and then put the filler material on and then he's done with me. I'm done with him <laughs> and it's over or what? So. I am interested to see what's gonna happen today. Um, it's about 30 minutes, 30 minutes before I'll be leaving. Um, so this is what my teeth look like, as I say, between clenched teeth. That's what they look like. I wish I had one of those things where, you know, that thing that they use to hold your mouth open, but you know what? I don't know if that'll work, but I'm gonna try it. I do have this little thingy. Let's see if I can use it to pull it back from it. So you see how these are fitting together. Space here, space there. Literally the space there. Versus this side. 
And this side is harder to get because the camera's over over there. But let's try. So much more space on this side. Here, here, here. Hopefully you can see that. So, top two teeth. Slightly lower. Barely, I mean, I don't know, you'd have to really be staring in my mouth to even notice that. But of course, it's my mouth, so I know this. Slightly lower. Oh my god, them teeth look like. Everything is lined up nicely. Um, so there's that. Everything is nice and aligned. However, I would say the only thing, and this doesn't even really. I don't even know if that bothers me enough to have filler material placed on my teeth. I just think my orthodontist is a perfectionist and <laughs> therefore for him, he would like it to be looking perfect. So he can be like, look, look at these before and afters. Don't they look perfect now? So, I mean, like I said, I don't even know if that's an issue for me. But, you know, you mentioned filler material, so I guess we'll see what that looks like. I have no idea what that's going to look like as far as putting filler material just on the edges of someone's teeth. Like, basically, adding adding more tooth where there was not already tooth. Like, for my husband, he, he chipped his tooth. And so, therefore, part of his tooth is that filler material. But he didn't, like, have tooth added on in a place where there wasn't already tooth, if that makes sense. It wasn't like, hey, here's a, a full tooth, and you know, now we're gonna shape it like this instead. It wasn't like that. It was like he chipped part of his tooth and then they put that back, if that makes sense. So um, I don't know what that's gonna look like for me. Man, this tan is looking crazy. <laughs> oh man, it's like, I wanna protect my eyes, but do I wanna? <laughs> have this raccoon eye thing after I don't know but um so yeah that's what's supposed to be happening today you guys like my earrings by the way my husband gave them to me for Valentine's Day <sighs> all right so here we go <laughs> here we go we are going to head to the orthodontist and we're going to see if the orthodontist is going to shave down this tooth because that gets it done today <laughs> versus tweaking the wire just a little bit and maybe getting it done, say, tomorrow or the next day, um, which I couldn't do that tomorrow, I don't think. I, but I would make time. Maybe I don't have time in my schedule right now, but I would make time. I would reschedule something in order to make that happen. So um, I really don't know what's going to happen today. Your guess is as good as mine. But the next time you see a video from me, there's a good chance that I will be braces free. <laughs> so he said it's not 100% happening today. So maybe he'll be like, oh, yeah, we do need to just fix that by, you know, bending the wire a little bit. And, um, you know, have me come back next week or something. I, I don't know. But he might be content with how it looks and decide he's just going to shave that tooth down and put the filler material in and take these bad boys off today, which to me, it will be the end of an era, a very long era, mind you. Um, so I don't know. I kind of feel <laughs> you guys ever have those dreams where you're like your teeth are falling out. Like, I, I know that means something. <laughs> I know it means something. I don't know what that's symbolic of, but I've had those dreams. 
like more times than I can count as far as just dreaming that my teeth are falling out. And obviously, you know, they're still here. So <laughs> it's just a dream, but I don't know. I'm really anxious about today and um, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. So I will keep you posted. I promise no matter what, regardless of whether I get my braces off today or not, I will post an update and let you guys know what happened. All right, I, I don't normally make promises. Like you can ask my kids, you can ask my husband. I do not make promises. So <laughs> there's a reason. I'll, I'll give you my word, but I'm not gonna make it a promise. And so the fact that I actually use the word promise tells me that I'm actually gonna do it because man, I do not use that word ever. So I will see you guys later today, regardless of how it turns out. All right, have a good one, take care.